Once again, grocery stores are pulling romaine lettuce off the shelves. There's been another E. coli outbreak. 67 people have been infected across 19 states. And the CDC is warning people to avoid lettuce harvested in Salinas, California. I was buying some last night. If you look at the bag, it'll tell you where it was harvested. And this one was OK. It wasn't Salinas. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Rapp is live at a grocery store in Rocky Hill with more on that story for us. Susan? Denise, Denise, we believe that this may be the third time in the past few years where grocery stores and restaurants have had serious concerns and problems with romaine lettuce. And these businesses tell us they are doing everything they can to make sure that people don't get sick. Big Y is not selling the tainted romaine lettuce. The supermarket chain is buying its romaine from other places, not Salinas, California, where the latest crop of lettuce was infected with E. coli. Sultan's Turkish restaurant in Waterbury makes three different kinds of salads. They usually serve about 40 salads a day. Now they've replaced the romaine with iceberg lettuce. We're very cautious about what people eat here. The owner tells us they don't want to take any chances. We don't know how long it's going to end. Last year it ended about a month. The warning includes whole heads of romaine, organic romaine, and packages of pre-cut lettuce and salad mixes. The CDC says it's important to look on the label where the romaine was grown. If the lettuce says grown in Salinas, don't eat it and throw it away. And in this case, labels are key. In most cases, if you look at the label, you will see where the product is grown. But even if for some chance it doesn't say, you should still be cautious, not eat it, and may even contact your grocery store or better yet, just throw it away. We are live in Rocky Hills, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Susan, thank you.